All right, welcome to Booze and Views. I'm John. Oh, Views. That's fine. I forgot the wink. <laughs> uh, I'm John McPhee, the sheriff of Baghdad. I uh, got my <clears throat> palm tree gold rim cup today. Today, it's five o'clock somewhere. It's hot outside. I'm not even going to tell you what time it is, but I figured I'd have a drink. So today I'm drinking this Ancient Age 10 Star. Oh yeah, that's the one I talk about, people. And uh, this is, uh, I don't know, like 16, 17 bucks for the half gallon. So uh, One of my personal favorites. Takes a steady hand, people. Not nah, I'm gonna one hand this shit. Fucking man shit right here. Woo! Perfect pour. You see that, people? Perfect can mean a lot of things, I agree. <clears throat> anyway, okay. So check this out. I'm gonna tell you this. If you're gonna do drugs... Do the crime first, then get your money, then go do the drugs with the money you got from the crime. <laughs> and then when you're out of drugs and sober again, go do crime again. But don't do drugs and crime at the same time, people. All right, so I'm going to take a drink and uh, we're going to get after this here. I'm kind of out of order here today and you know what? I don't even give a shit. Fucking cheers. Woo! <clears throat> okay, so, first and foremost, don't smell like shit. Why? Fuck you, COVID. That's why. Uh, <clears throat> but, uh, tastes good. Uh, I believe this is mash bill number two from Buffalo Trace, like the rest of them. I don't know. Pretty much. Anyway, all right, kids got to leave the room, so I'm gonna take a drink. Cheers, people, and we're gonna we're gonna get after this. Cheers. <laughs> I'm so fucked up today on so many levels. Uh, it's not even funny. Okay, so look, what I'm gonna talk to you know, kids got to leave the room. Cheers. So, okay, this one's kind of funny. Uh, these two criminals, I believe out of Florida, I'm not sure where, right? They bust in this house and uh, they're high on drugs, of course, right? Do crime while you're high. It doesn't make sense to me. Do crime when you're out of drugs, when you're sober, so you're smart enough to pull off the crime to get the money to do more drugs. I don't know. Maybe I just don't know how to do this thing. Man, if I, who knows? All right. Anyway. Uh, so these two two dudes break in this guy's house, and they break in to rob the guy. The guy's home. It's like a 300-pound, roided-out, gay sexual predator even did time in prison uh, for, uh, uh, <laughs> for uh, violent sexual assault. Uh, so as the story goes, he held these guys for five days against their will and raped the shit out of these, 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 uh, would be burglars. And I say would be burglars cause they ended up just being rape dolls, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what goes on in those places. I try to stay away myself. That's why I stay home and day drink people. You know what I'm saying? Safest way to not get anal raped. Anyway, we could talk about that later. So uh, these two dudes get like raped for five days. This guy like rapes and sodomizes, right? So as I was reading this, I was like, holy shit. Do not do drugs and then crime. Do crime, then drugs, right? <laughs> then when you got no drugs, do more crime to get more drugs. If, if, if you're going to do it, I don't condone that lifestyle, right? Math, not even once, I'm just saying, right? But now, if you're going to do that, it seems like that should be the pattern. So, 
<laughs> Unfortunately, I have bad news for you guys. This story is fake. <laughs> like, I read about it in so many articles. And then it turns out, as I was reading more, I'm like, this, I don't know about this. <laughs> like, like uh, what are the chances you bust into a, like, first off, like, you're going to bust into someone's house. You don't even know if they're home or not. Like, <laughs> fucking shame on you. Uh, <laughs> and then you didn't know you were robbing a roided out gay roided out sexual predators house i would think that as a criminal like if there was one house not to rob in the neighborhood it's 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 that house <laughs> like, that's the one. <laughs> don't fuck around over there like and i don't recommend anyone fuck around over there you know what i mean and there was like people in the neighborhood where i grew up in chicago like that uh, so you just don't fuck around over there, right? Don't, don't go in front of their house. If you're walking by, don't look. Don't make eye contact. You know the deal, right? So I was looking at it. It turns out this whole story was false, and it was it was all put together. But the a the cover the 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 photo they use is like some big roided out guy sitting in a, in a in a recliner, and like they got two mug shots, of like two obviously drugged out fuckers. I mean, like, in the, in the corner, like, <laughs> anyway, uh, unfortunately, these guys did not get r brutally raped for five days, however, I would say, if you are robbing homes, <sighs> don't do drugs, and then do the crime, do the crime when you got no drugs, when you're sober, so you can make a better decision, like, <laughs> don't rob, <laughs> write it out, <laughs> ain't no rapist, <laughs> just got out of prison, don't, don't fuck with that guy's house, <laughs> oh shit, I'm John Trekman, Fee the Sheriff of Baghdad, here you go, booze and booze, cheers everybody.